We eagerly embarked on a journey of a lifetime. However, as esteem rose and the anticipation built, disappointment loomed large. Find out why our dream destination turned into a letdown of epic proportions. Welcome to day two of our Atacama Desert Adventures. We were snowed out of our Flamingo National Park Reserve. Was it a reserve? National Reserve? National Reserve yesterday. So today we are on the way to see one of the biggest geysers. I think it's actually supposed to have the most geysers in one location. What's the name of the geyser? Geyser del Tatio. Geyser del Tatio. So we've been driving for uh, about hour and three quarters. We're still not there. The road is very, very bad. It's, yeah, you need a four by four and confidence to drive this road. We have neither, so we're going slow. We have about another 45 minutes to go before we get there. Lots of people must have got up before sunrise and we're heading out that way because we've seen a lot of people coming back from there. So they must have wanted to see the sunrise at the geysers. Todd Slen, do you have any? He's focused on the road, so probably not. Oh, it's just really nice scenery. And like Roxanne said, I'm just looking about the road. Yeah, the scenery is really nice, really pretty. And uh, very diverse, keeps changing quite often. But we've seen a few animals and uh, we're gonna keep going. Hopefully we can get there within the hour. And then we gotta turn around and drive back on this highway. The highway is not, it's just a dirt road. It's just dirt, no pavement, no nothing, just dirt with huge cracks and crevices. So, We've got to be careful. So we'll turn the camera back on when we get there or unless we see something really cool. Geyser del Tatio. The brochure said there's over 80 geysers in this area. And it's one of the most active geyser areas in the world. Here's a baby geyser going off. Here's one that looks like it's relatively dry, but it's built up a lot of uh, mineral deposits. Here on the geyser site, they have lookout spots where uh, you can go in. Uh, this one's flooded, but it's in, the, in a nice spot where there's a couple geysers going off. And in this spot, we're surrounded by snow-capped mountains, the Andes Mountains. Here's a lookout for what looks like one of the bigger geysers. We're just not lucky enough here to be here while it's going off. I imagine this one goes pretty high, judging from the size of how it's been built up. And uh, 
nice views here too. And here is one that looks like a huge pot of boiling water. And here I've discovered a little blue lagoon. What's interesting is there's what looks like in the distance here, I'll try to zoom as best as I can, a, uh, a mud kind of geyser. That's dark brown bubbling up there and another uh, body of water just down below it looks like this was a lookout at one time but as uh, geology changes it looks like it collapsed or it became a geyser so that's an off-limits area now it looks like in this area they keep changing the areas you can go and not go based on where the geysers uh, become inactive and where they start to become active. Here at Geyser del Tatio, this is one of the stops uh, at which there are some, I guess, thermal pools, which normally you might be able to sit and bathe in but at this time of our visit, that's not allowed. But I'll take you around and show you some of the geysers and thermal pools around here. Here the signage is saying the uh, temperature of the water once it comes out of the ground can be up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. And the steam that you're seeing is caused by the difference in the, co the heat of the, uh, the water and the cold of the air. And as you can see looking around, the whole area is a pretty desolate looking area where the geysers are rock, sand, mud, and dirt, and water, and minerals along the road to see these animals. And it's a scenic spot. There's, uh, as you can see, there's a volcano labeled here in the background, Volcano, Volcan Putana, Volcano Putana. And there's some abandoned uh, Pueblo homes here along the road. And we're 26 kilometers from uh, Geyser El Tatio right now. You saw it, been there, done that, and uh, it's three o'clock, and we're headed back to San Pedro. We were there for about two hours, would you say? Yep. Two hours. How would you rate that, Len, out of ten? Uh, seven. Oh, he's generous. He's generous. At, and why seven? It was a little disappointing, an all day trip um, to see one site um, that cost us 45 dollars, 45 Canadian. And it, the scenery was less than spectacular. Um, the geysers were not very active. Um, 
the 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 driving there was brutal. Yeah. Um, Very bad. We're hoping it's going to be a little better on the way back. It took us um, longer to get there than we were there. The roads are horrid. I can see why people take a tour here. I I I think I'm going to be generous and give it a five. Oh my, that's not generous. Yeah, I was going to give it a four and a half, but I I upped it to a five because there was a really cute bird there. But no, five would be the most I'd give that. I would not spend, personally, you guys get to do whatever you want. Personally, I would not spend $45 on that. I, I don't understand. I, I, I now understand why people get up early and do it in the morning, first thing before sun's up. And that's because you could see all the steam. When we were there, most of the geysers were dormant. They were just, there was hardly any, some actually looked like they had dried up for the day or it was, it was very anticlimactic. It was sort of sad. Um, one couple was there 15 minutes and they were la they left and they were just gone. So we weren't the only disappointed people, but on a tour, maybe you sit back, let the tour driver take you, you get out in the morning, you see it, you get back in your van, your tour bus, and you head back, maybe then, but I would never do this again. Personally, I would not do this again, but we're hoping for a better adventure tomorrow. Well, I would do it again if the price was a little less. Yeah, $45 and, for that was a bit pricey. And, well, keeping in mind that was for two of us. Yeah, for two, I know. Um, but, and we did see some wildlife. We saw some, I, I can't remember what they're called. I can't remember, yeah. Um, they're like vi little. I think they're vicunas or. They're uh, like a cross between a deer and a alpaca, or a, and a llama. They're cute. And They're we really saw cute. some flam flamingos and three or four different types of uh, waterfall birds and some very nice little brightly Chicken colored birds. birds. Um, yeah. And there were some nice geysers, but it's it's not a stunning it's not stunning scenery. It's it's I guess if you appreciate the geology of it, um, then then it's worth it. But if you're if you're going there to see something stunning and visually great, it, it's not it's not that. Um, may not like our honesty you may want us to lie about it but that's not us we were disappointed but tomorrow's another day we'll find new adventures tomorrow but for now we have a two-hour drive at least to get back so we're going to turn the camera off and uh, enjoy the scenery if we could offer any tips or recommendation it would be to see the geysers through a tour. Don't spend three hours driving all the way there on terrible roads and all the way back. That's six hours on a bumpy, terrible, dangerous road. And the second would be to really go in the morning if you wanna see the, the geysers active. When we went, it was just poor time. We didn't realize the morning was the most active period of time. So we should have gone there, maybe would have uh, we would have had a more enjoyable um, experience. But that would be my recommendation. Don't drive unless you really have a four by four and you're okay getting up at three in the morning. I wouldn't do it. This wraps up day two of our adventures in the Atacama Desert. Stay tuned for day three where we have a spectacular day in the desert. Hope to see you then. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you.